Okay, guys. So now in this, what we are going to do is we are going to deploy our uh, server app in uh, cloud. So to do so, we can do you can do it in Firebase and uh, AWS, Amazon AWS, and then Heroku as well. It's a cloud uh, provider, service provider. So I'm going to do with the Heroku, which provide a free service. Yeah, like you can create uh, five app, like minimum, maximum. Sorry. So I have all this app, even this also. But uh, right now I'm going to delete it since uh, I don't want this one because we are going to do it now. So I'll delete this my stripe backend. And to delete, so go to setting, come at bottom, delete this, and copy this app name. All right, paste it here, delete. Okay, it is deleted now. Now you, so you can uh, actually Heroku already has how you can deploy Node.js since our, our server is Node.js project. So this is how we can do. But before that, you have to install Heroku. Uh, Heroku uh, command line, I think. Yeah, you have to install uh, Heroku command line tool, which you can give it uh, get, uh, get it from the official uh, this thing. Just install this Heroku. All right, once Heroku is installed, now what you can do here is uh, this is done. And PBN is we have already done all this project naming is done. And this is also done and make sure we have to specify the version also we, if you come to our project here i have opened this package.json we don't have that version so what you can do here is just copy this all right so we are using not uh, wait let me just check version i'm going to stop this server not uh i must be happy no yes okay sorry npm version 6.11 all right 6.11 we are using okay so let me just come back to uh, notepad because i don't remember i mentioning this all right notepad it is then if you come here yep we are using this not eight version so you have to make uh, make sure you mention the right version here so engine is eight. I think this is engine, right? Yeah, not eight. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here, right here. All right. What is this? Okay. Sorry. I'm uh, not it. Yep. Sorry. You need to make sure one comma is there. That's why this is the error. Okay. I think we have added express and stripe both, and these are all not required. And then when you run many server dot js, correct. All right, we are good. Now you can just check whether your app is correct or properly running or not by just first install this. We have already installed. Now you can call this Heroku local web just to test it. So now what I'll do here in the Stripe payment, I'll just paste it. Okay, now one more thing. Um, what happened here is Heroku uh, dynamically create new uh, port for you. So you don't have to mention the port. Because last time I mentioned and uh, for some reason it is not working here. All right, so this port number 422 should be dynamic. So the, to get the dynamic, uh, Node.js, all right, dynamic and port number. And you will get somewhere here. Um, not this one. this one yeah as you can see this one will do the work uh, let me just copy this or maybe we can use the uh, uh, existing one which is over here this is the one as you can see I'm just gonna copy this this will create process from environment if it is not then you can take this 5001 as well and you can just cut this and paste it here port number and the listen to this port number it is listening to this port all right cool so this is 5001 make sure that means uh, it's 5001 so now what i'll do i'll save this and in command prompt we'll paste this okay sorry my bad not this you come back to document heroku local web okay heroku local web enter as you can see Heroku update available okay this is not required it is starting and it is not server is listing now if you come back to uh, localhost 
this is 5001 we have changed to 5001 actually 5001 only yep we are getting some issue here if you come back to the node 5001 should do the work i don't know why we are getting this issue so let me just run one zero zero all right i think they are taking when the moment when you write heroku will generate five zero zero one uh, sorry five zero zero so if you call this jerry it great yep it is working right so this is how we are calling this thing i think it is done now if you come back here stop this all right clear this come back here this is done now what you have to do you have to uh, call the git well, and i hope you also have git installed already if not then make sure you have git installed already so what you can do git init first it will initialize the git then you can call git add add it will add the code here all right we have this much code and then clear screen so what you can do now git commit so and the mighty commit minus m you can give some message first commit or something like that let me just give first enter it will always do all this thing then we have to do heroku login now we are going to inside heroku login all right heroku login and yep you have to press something you press any key to yep correct then you have to log in first let me log in all right we are logged in come here now what is the next step get heroku actually heroku create you have to create hero uh, app so heroku create what is the backend name you are going to i'll give stripe payment sorry payment backend make sure you don't have capital letter they don't accept uh, capital letter so now if i create this it will create new app called stripe payment. okay this name is already taken so what we can do payment uh, backend payment stripe payment backend let me just add android also let's see all right we got it, everything ready now we have to just push this in heroku now this is the final step i promise okay it is calling it will detect everything like uh, whether it is node.js or whatever project it is then it will detect no, uh, what is the server.js to be executed first all this thing it will do and uh, everything is success compressing and size launching all right everything is done now if you copy this all right and sorry actually we can just call heroku open where is that common yep heroku open it will open the our app in the uh, new tab all right we are it's working we are getting get now if i put here great we should get what is that hello it is working all right guys i think it is working perfectly fine now what you have to do all you have to do is change this i mean sorry uh, get this url and come back here sorry in this part and uh, now in the, this instead of this url which you are running locally let me just copy this you can paste this thing here done then you can comment this for now then it will call this rest is same how it is working before you know we are going to use now we don't need that uh, config file also which network security config also we don't need done i think this is pretty much it now let me just run that before i run that uh, i'll change the amount to uh, three two one so that we know it is working or not i just run the app sorry for this and it should work properly if it is working it's taking some time okay our app is running now let me just click on this five dollar if i click on buy now and continue to payment actually we have to do that then pay with stripe okay see we didn't get any error for now now i'll just type the card detail one two four two four two then give that cvv number some postal code and i'm going to click on pay 
and it's paying as you can see we are paying amount 321 and it said status is success click on ok and if you check here it is yeah we should able to get 321 yep 321 alright we got everything perfectly working now uh, you don't need actually we are not using server we are not running local server also as you can see we, we are just communicating directly to Heroku and if you check Heroku dashboard see before I have only four now we should be able to get the fifth one which we have created Heroku backend Android yeah payment Android okay guys I think this is it now what we have to do here is instead of just typing it like this if you come back to payment activity we are transferring the amount where is that mm. come back here this is where it is right and where is our amount here yeah, amount over here so we are getting amount is multiplied by 100 correct and this is the amount so i'll pass this amount to next intent so intent dot put extra and i'll write amount outside i'll put the amount so the amount will go here and then in this checkout activity we will get the amount here so get intent dot get string sorry uh, string get string extra then here you write amount you will get the amount and you can store it here string uh, sorry string amount equal to alright now after this if you come back to this amount what you have to do here is okay let me just cut this and paste it here equal to 20 now this amount will be I'll write amount string as we are defining double down string okay close this and now amount in string now you have to convert this to double okay so double dot pass double and then you pass the amount here all right it will convert and then store inside here okay guys now i think if i uh, we can order one item from the our app so our web is running now if you click on and one more thing you can uh, we are displaying the toss over here if you see properly when this uh, when you see payment completed not this one now uh, is it success payment failed this display alert is not required so you can just comment it like this okay as we know if it is success it will be success so instead of that we can toss it here this and then order sorry order success okay mm. all right i think some spelling mistake is there all right double c order successful and do we have to add something here wait yeah once the payment is success we have to add this detail in the firebase right yeah i forgot so you what you can do you can get this name image url okay now we have to pass this also so what i'll do i'll just copy and copy this part and come back to this uh, checkout activity once payment is successful i'm going to add all this detail here okay so we may get some error so this is because we are in activity so start activity is cool payment activity instead of that checkout activity so i want to do this to home activity and what is this make payment activity non-static callback is non-static wait instead of that what we can do is get checkout activity java dot this correct now we have to make it payment non static okay then we need to define auth and firebase firestore so I'll define this over here private firebase auth m auth done and then firebase sorry not auth firestore m store 
so you have to define it down here equal to files that firebase file dot get instant m store sorry m store equal to firebase file store dot get instant all right we got everything up and running now we need this is not required payment is successful order is successful we will get this then in the name you have to pass and image url also we have to pass so to pass this you have to come here where we have payment activity and there you can duplicate this name and image url so name then image url okay so name and image url you can uh, save payment detail also if you want but we are just going to save name and image url so come here string name and image url is also there right so string name equal to empty here then string uh, image url equal to empty here done then duplicate this where is that this one and image url name so this will be image url and this will be name all right guys i think it is done once it is successful it will save all this detail in the order and that's all let me run the app one more time and we'll see what is happening there okay our app just opened and if i clicked on let me just click on that uh, 19 dollar this one and then i'll click on the buy now i'll choose the address i'll go to continue to payment and i'll click on pay with stripe and our app just crashed i don't know why uh, unable to start activity check out activity null pointer exception string dot trim do we have trim here uh, trim let me just search for what trim here we don't have trim in this uh, let me just check sorry okay guys so uh, <coughs> this is some string issue with the trim in null object reference so uh, <coughs> this is probably because of from the this thing Pay, uh, payment activity we are passing amount amount is of type double but here we are accepting as a string here amount string so what i'll do i'll just uh, amount okay amount i'll just write amount double okay amount double and it default i'll make it null and this is of type double here done we got the amount copy this and paste it here we'll get instead of get string extra i'll write get double extra and we'll get this error because we have to uh, pass default value so to pass default value i'm just going to set it to 0, 0.0 if there's no value all right then amount double i'll just paste it here we don't have to pass it just pass it like this all right i think that's all on let me just run the app Our web is running. Wait, what is that? I don't know. Let me. I am running our app again. So amount, double amount, double amount, and it is null. Here we are getting the default value. Get double extra, correct? Then here we are passing the correct only. Yeah, our app just opened. Let me click on this woman T-shirt. Buy now and add address continue to payment stripe pay with stripe all right now i'm going to add card detail this is 19 dollar so 4242 then 1221 one, 123 so okay some socket exception let me just try to uh, give you some transaction we will probably will get error what did we our app just crashed i don't know wait okay i think the video is getting lengthy i'll discuss this issue in the next one thank you guys see you in the next